Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be talking about Arrow, Season 5, Episode 22, Missing. This is the second last episode before the finale, uh, which airs next week. And uh, so let's talk about this episode. Everybody is going missing, that's right, and maybe this gives a little bit more of an explanation at why we didn't see Renee at his daughter's, uh, you know... Um, the the little meeting that Quentin set set up last week to try to get uh, some uh, more time with his daughter. Um, we didn't see Renee or Dinah this week. Uh, Dinah Drake, not Dinah Lance, uh, which I'll get to a little in a little bit. Um, and obviously, I think the big one that we were, ex- or at least I was expecting. Uh, to see missing as well was William. Um, that one, I, I, you know, we saw him not last week, the week before, um, where Adrian Chase went to go meet him, and now we get confirmation that yes, he is indeed captured along with everybody else. So, where is Chase bringing all these people? Well, we find out at the end of the episode, they're all brought to Lee and you. Basically, the place where this whole journey began for Oliver, and um, I'm I'm really excited about next week because there's something that was set up there at the end. I'm just gonna get right into that part now. Uh, Manu Bennett is returning as Deathstroke, aka Slade Wilson. Very excited about that. As soon as I heard his voice, I mean, if you've seen the trailer for the last couple of episodes that they aired, like right before the three, re- uh, the three, uh, or right after the three week break was over, um, they they kind of showed that part, but they didn't really show him. You did hear his voice though, and so I was wondering, uh, are they gonna get him back, or are they just using like? old audio footage or something like that uh but no it looks like they did get him back which uh is really cool we haven't seen slate since that one episode in season three uh where thea and oliver were on the island so uh yeah it's gonna be great and i think we're all supposed supposed to get captain boomerang uh next week as well so he'll be using the two uh villains that he has trapped in there Supermax um, next week for help. And yeah, he's going to need a lot of help because with Talia and Prometheus teaming up and Artemis is there, now Black Siren too. Man, things are looking tough. But don't worry because it looks like Oliver's building his own little army, whether it's good or bad, starting with Malcolm Merlin and Nisa. And now, you know, Deathstroke is joining. Um, I think next week is definitely looking really good for a big battle. Uh, to go on Lee and Yu. I can't wait to see how that's all going to be handled. Um, it was nice seeing uh, Malcolm Merlin back because, uh, you know, he's been on Legends this year. If you've been watching Legends of Tomorrow, he's been hanging out. He was hanging out over there with uh, Damian Dark and uh, Reverse Flash. So it was nice to finally have him on this season. He hasn't been on this season at all. This is like his first episode this year. And uh, seeing him actually help Oliver, especially since the last time he was trying to kill the legends, now it's like, eh, hey, okay, I'm going I'm going to the other side this time. And he's actually helping Oliver. Um, well, it, technically it's still for his own little gratification, right? He's saving his daughter. So uh, I guess they both have something to lose. Uh, so Malcolm's okay with pushing uh, whatever he feels towards Oliver to the side, just like he's gonna do for Nisa. It looks like he's, you know, he as soon as Nisa came in, which I really liked, Malcolm was like, no, and and Oliver had to, hey, you, you said you were desperate to save your daughter, put your feelings aside and let's team up with Nisa. And I like that Nisa called him Oliver. Uh, her husband still like the, yeah you guys got married back in season three that ain't gone yet until you get that paperwork going Oliver you're gonna be stuck with uh, 
sort of in a weird marriage with Nisa. Um, and I, I like that Nisa actually confirmed that, yes, yeah, she did, that her father, uh, Ra's al Ghul, or Ra's al Ghul, um, sent her to the island, Leon Yu, to, and that's where she found Sarah, because if you go back and watch uh, Legends of Tomorrow, season one, there is that episode where the Legends, I, I forgot what year it was in, like the 50s or 60s or something, and Sarah goes back to the League of Assassins, and back then, uh, before Nisa is born, she tells him to make sure she sends uh, he sends her daughter Nisa to this location, and that's where she'll find him. And so that kind of connects back to Legends of Tomorrow, which I really thought was cool. Um, let's get to Black Siren now. Laura Lance from Earth 2. Um, you know, Thea tried explaining to Lance that uh, this is not the Laurel that we know. This is actually a different Laurel. And uh, Lance doesn't want to believe it, you know. He, 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 Well, he's conflicted. He is conflicted. He acted exactly the way I thought he would act. And um, uh, obviously that's, that's great. You know, you want to see that conflict. Uh, but it looks like she's a little conflicted too. Uh, this Laurel Lance, because um, she said something to him that that seemed kind of um, like she cared for him. Like even she's a little conflicted because no matter what, that is her father. It might be from another Earth, but deep down she still has feelings for her father. And we don't know what Captain Lance is like on earth too maybe he's a really good father to her on that earth as well maybe he died and maybe she's also feeling that confliction a little bit we know that katie cassidy is returning as a regular next season so it, it does make me wonder if we'll see a lot more of that uh open up a little bit more next season i i am curious to see if they'll uh, continue this relationship and open up a little bit more and let's discover this Laurel Lance a little bit more. This could be their way of bringing Laurel back onto the show. Maybe not the Laurel Lance that we know, but this Laurel Lance, you know, and one that's more capable of handling herself. And that was something that the original Laurel Lance, that a lot of people really were conflicted about when she became Black Canary is that, how quickly she became Black Canary. And even though they always showed her having a tough time um, becoming a good fighter, uh, this now you don't have to worry about that because this is a Laurel Lance that could have been training for five years as far as we know. We don't know too much about her life on Earth 2. So I think it's actually a smart way to give us a more interesting Laurel Lance. And I thought they actually handled her much better this time around. Um, than in the last episode of Arrow that we saw her in, which I thought was fine. But this episode, I actually thought they handled her really well. Uh, and I was kind of hoping for the Black Siren, Black Canary little fight going on, but we didn't get that. Oh, well. Um, I, there was some really cool fighting sequences in this episode, too, by the way. I should I should mention that. That part where they were bringing Chase to the chopper... <laughs> And uh, Oliver and Malcolm were, like, beating up the guards uh, there between those fences. I thought that was a really cool action sequence, actually. Um, the flashbacks were really cool. You know, the flashbacks have been really steady this season. Uh, much better than season three and four uh, flashbacks. And, uh, you know, having Dolph Lundgren there, uh, he's torturing Oliver through the mind and body, I guess, and making him relive his pains and his uh, failures. Um, but clearly next week, we're going to see how it's all uh, brought down. Because um, next week, that's it, man. After after next week, we got nothing else. Um, so looking forward to that. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. Man, next week, the final episode... Of the season, season five, the last of the flashbacks to the island. After that, you know, the show's all cut up. I feel like I should go back and uh, rewatch the pilot before the new episode airs uh, to get myself ready and to see how it all comes back. 
um, because Oliver's beard isn't really that big yet. So, I mean, unless a couple of weeks or uh, no, it can't be a week's has to be months like there has to be at least a five or six month gap that's missing right now i'll I'll let four months slide um so i don't know we'll see uh that's that's the only continuity part i'm i'm hoping to see how they'll um how they'll explain because his beard isn't there yet um, and we, if you go back and watch that pilot, he has like full grown beard, full grown hair. He, he's like a hobo. I don't know. Um, that's, you know, go back and watch the pilot and tell me I'm wrong. Um, and with that being said, it was a really good episode. I'm ending this here or else I'm going to be repeating myself. Uh, like this video if you agree with me, guys. Comment below and tell me your thoughts on the episode theories. What do you think is going to happen next week um i think it's just gonna be an all-out brawl uh but we'll see and william i think i think william's gonna die i really do um even though even though uh malcolm gave him that speech about family and how he can use that instead of letting it hold him back and putting himself always on an island whatever uh yeah i think i think william could die I, I'm also hoping that Elicity doesn't become a thing again. I, they kind of hinted it there at the beginning of the episode. I don't know what the writers... Uh, I I mean, they could... Maybe they found a way to make it more enjoyable because, I, I mean, I did smile. Stephen Amell and Emily Bett Records, they both have nice chemistry together. I just don't want... I'm worried that Elicity will bring things down. But you know what? There were some moments where... I thought Felicity was going to be a drama queen when when she was about to disagree with Oliver's decision to send her and Diggle away, but uh, she didn't. She was okay. she she was about to say something, but then she was like, you know what? I'll respect his opinion. Um, so comment below. Tell me what you guys think, and uh, subscribe to my channel, especially if you are a huge fan of Arrow or The Flash and any of these other DC TV shows. Um, I do a DC TV recap every Thursdays, which is tomorrow, uh, where I talk about Gotham, Supergirl, Arrow, and The Flash, and just a l small little recap, my the highlights of the episode, and then I say which episode was the best of the week and which episode was the worst. So tune in tomorrow if you want to know my thoughts on that. And until next time, take care.